hello valuables welcome back to my channel thank you all so much for joining me on today's episode i am your host mary johnson amy and if today is your first time of coming across this valuable girl here i want to say thank you so much i value you please consider subscribing you know make this home your home so on today's episode i'm actually going to talk about some german easter cultural shock yes i actually found out about this and it was like mm -hmm, it was strange to me and i decided to just come and share it with you all you know as we all are in the mood of easter and all of that first of all i want to say happy easter to you all you know this easter time it signifies you know something great for us the body of christ and i pray and i ask that whatever thing that is dead in our lives in your life in my life that's by the grace of god they will all resurrect they will come back to life and we will receive strength will receive power to move forward and to you know achieve all of our goals this year so yes so the cultural shock that I actually learned about you know easter in germany is that i was told that okay so it was actually a conversation with someone you know? i was just talking about easter with someone you know discussing about easter so because over here on easter friday you know the shops are closed easter monday the shops are also closed so although when i came to this country new i knew that during easter shops will not be open like shops will be closed so if you actually want to purchase anything the day on the easter when you go to purchase those things they will be closed so you have to like purchase whatever you need to purchase like for example um today is friday so i made sure that i purchased all that i needed before friday so that's actually one thing about germany so if you should decide and say oh i don't have tomatoes let me wait until easter friday or easter monday i will go and purchase it you will disappoint yourself because the shops will be closed so this is actually what i was discussing with someone so you all um i was still discussing with someone you know about the easter and easter preparation and all of that you know what we women we do you know just discuss and then talk about the um season the flow the moment and all of that so as i was discussing with her so um i was trying to tell her that oh me i would want to go for shopping because over here the shops are not open on the easter so i'm able to like get the things that i want so i wouldn't be running healthy scatter so she actually pumped a question and this question actually kept me wondering and i was like really so she said that on Easter, that we're not supposed to eat meat. And I'm like saying, we're not supposed to eat meat. Like, how? So she said, yes, that um, on Easter, we have to eat fish. And I'm like, fish? She said, yes, we have to eat fish and we don't need to eat meat. So I'm like, okay, why? Because I asked, okay, but why? What is the reason? Do you understand? Because when you're telling me something, at least try to explain, let me know why. So when I'm telling people, I'm able to like tell them the why. So she said that in Germany, that it is actually a culture that during um, the Easter that you are not to eat meat. Rather, you can only eat fish because when you eat meat, it's as if you are eating the flesh of Jesus. Like the way she explained it. It's as if you're actually eating the flesh and this this season is about Jesus. So maybe directly or indirectly, you are um, in support of those that crucified him. Or because, um, you know, directly or indirectly, when you eat it, that means you're eating the flesh of Jesus. So I was like, wow, I've never heard this before. I've never. So tell me in the comment section, have you ever heard such thing? And if you have, you know, um, which country and, you know, what was actually their reasons for saying that so that was actually my first time of ever hearing it and i was like wow really i said but the place where i came from ever since we started celebrating easter i have never 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 heard that um you don't have to eat meat you have to only eat fish as for me eh, i eat meat i eat chicken i eat anything eatable even the fish too i eat whatever it is that uh, I want to eat, I eat. Like, if it were to be that it is um a deal break or a law break, then that means we Nigerians, we are going to be behind the bars. Because I know many of us, during Easter, we buy chicken, we eat, we buy meat, we buy different, different sorts of whatever, and we eat, including fish. So we don't just, you know, um say that because it is Easter, then we are only going to be eating fish. So if, for example, there is any penalty or anything, that, any punishment, then that means we Nigerians, we are guilty. And 
<laughs> that means we are going to receive our punishment. So please tell me in the comment section, have you ever heard this before? And what was your reaction? How true is it? I don't know, you know, how to actually accept this. But over here in Germany, this is actually their culture. So today you see different families, even children in school, they teach them. Yes, they teach children in school that um, during Easter, Austin sites, you don't have to eat meat. So that's why you see they always eat egg. Like we have what we call Austin iron. So the children, you know, some children, they actually want this egg, different eggs that has um, different colors. So you go to supermarket, you see um, egg, blue egg, yellow egg, red egg, um, different colors. You know, it's just to make the Easter colorful and, you know, unique and all of that. This is actually, you know, one thing about Germany. And I actually like it, although I have never eaten the colored um, egg before. I also know that some people actually just purchase the normal egg and then they do the coloring at home. It actually, you know, gives children this um, great memory and all of that. But what I'm actually focusing on is about the non-eating meat part of today, of the season of um easter so i actually want to know if you my valuable people are aware of this because i don't know about it so this is actually one cultural shock that i just found out about germany that during easter dear you need not to eat meat you need not to eat meat you need to eat fish because when you eat meat that means you're eating the flesh of jesus how true is that so are you trying to tell me that i have eaten the flesh of jesus oh because even today, I'm also going to eat meat. So is it the flesh of Jesus? Like, does it mean that I conspire with the Jews? I conspire with those that crucified him? For me, really for me, you know, different people have different things. And it is working for them. They've been obeying it and it has just been working for them. But as for me, um, I don't know if I would say I don't believe it. But it's not working for me. Like, because I wasn't raised that way. It's not my culture. It's not my way of life. It's not my tradition. So, um... I won't be found guilty if there are people that are being found guilty. I, Mary, won't be found guilty. So if there are people that are found guilty, I, I won't be found guilty at all because um, it is not our culture. What do you think? Do you think it is right? Do you think the culture is good? You know, so just to respect the celebration season, Easter, because it is Easter. Should eat goat meat, cow meat, ram meat, chicken meat, whatever meat. Uh, well... You know, every day we learn, okay? So I learned about it or I heard about it. But for me, although I've heard about it, but it's not going to stop me from eating my chicken, okay? So tell me, you know, you're getting to know this shock. Is it going to stop you from eating your chicken in, you know, this Easter period? So maybe you have plan of actually eating some chicken this Easter Sunday. So are you going to change your mind? Tell me. So if you're going to change your mind, tell me in the comment section below. And if you know about this, um, you know, culture, if maybe in your land it is applicable or if you know about it, just tell me. Okay. So this is actually one cultural shock about Germany. It's that cultural shock and it really shocked me. But I'm sorry to say, I want to use this medium to say I am sorry because I will stop eating chicken. I will stop eating goat. I will stop eating whatever eatable that is sweet for me this season i'm actually going to eat lots of it so yeah probably maybe next other season i will think about it or i'll just leave and you know continue doing my own thing because it is not my culture and i'm not feeling guilty like whatever i eat the like whatever i eat the meat i don't feel like hey yeah mary you are betraying jesus so mary oh you are eating the flesh. i don't feel any guilty there's no sign of guilty conscience so if you know that when you eat it you'll be guilty don't eat it because even the bible says that you know whatever you do and you know it is bad yeah it is sin already for you so if you're doing something you know that this thing is bad and they are still doing it it is sin but for people like us that don't know we do it and then we go free show you the other <laughs> hope you get it yes so i want to wish you a merry um and a happy easter celebration you all take care of yourself and enjoy the easter i value you all happy easter to you all till i come your way next time i remain your humble host mary johnson amy and remember you are the head and not the tail and please don't forget to subscribe to like and to share ciao 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 happy easter